Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today, we're going to discuss about a fascinating topic in physics. Everyone wants to know whether it is existing or not existing. So to get the clarification, let us start the topic. And the topic is motion. So it is topic 2. No, it is the first concept relative. What is mean by relative? So before to understand what is mean by relative, let us take some example to know actually what is relative. Suppose two friends, one is Ram and this is the second friend is Shyam. Both are approaching a house. This is a house. So when Ram is approaching to the house and when you, when you ask Ram that in, on which side the house is there, then Ram says, Ram can say that it is towards his left side left. Now if you ask Shyam which direction the house exists, then Shyam says it is towards his right. Then who is correct here? According to Ram, the house is left side. According to Shyam, the house is right side. So here you couldn't decide that one is right and one is wrong because here the house location is relative. According to Ram and according to Shyam, the two answers are correct. So, location is relative. This is the first case. Now, take the second example. Suppose think that we are in Hyderabad. It is morning time. Morning time. At the same moment, if you, if somebody of your friend or relative are in New York, for him, it is night time. Then who is correct here? According to Hyderabad, the morning time is correct. Or according to New York, night time is correct. And the answer is both are correct. Because here, day and night are relative. Next, take another more example to get better understanding of this relative. Now, third one, I have given a stick to you. It's a stick one. And ask you to show that the stick is shorter. Then how do you show? Then you will keep another stick which is longer than the stick one. And automatically the stick one become shorter. Now if you ask a question, if I ask a question that okay, show me stick one longer, then you keep another stick which is shorter than the stick one. Then stick one become longer. So according to stick one, stick two, stick one is shorter. According to stick one, stick three, the stick one is longer. So which answer is correct? Here both are correct because here height or you can say length is relative. So in nature everything is relative. So in nature everything is relative. Similarly motion is also relative. Why it is like that? Let me explain you. Repeat. Let me explain to you. Suppose a bus is moving on the road and in the bus 
there are so many passengers sitting on the seats consider two passengers passenger a passenger b sitting next to each other and there is an observer on the road side say is o observer now according to the passenger a and passenger b both are moving in the bus so inside the bus all the passengers are also moving but according to a passenger a he feels that believes that passenger b is at rest state because he is sitting next to him and he is also with him for a long time reason every instant of time he is seeing the person sitting next to him so he believes that passenger b is at rest state but comparing to observer o who is standing on the road side if you ask him he says that the passenger b is in motion so according to a passenger b is in rest according to o passenger b is in motion so who is correct both are correct because motion depends upon the observer motion depends upon the frame of references motion depends upon the point of reference so according to one observer maybe the motion the maybe the body is in motion but according to other observer the body is at rest so in this way motion is relative relative means comparable it's a comparison between two observers here o is one observer and a is another observer so i want to conclude that motion is relative motion is not absolute right i hope you understand so next we move to the fundamentals in motion topic to understand more about motion we should know some technical terms in physics like distance displacement speed velocity acceleration so first we discuss about distance and displacement distance versus displacement Let's take an example and we we'll, we'll depend upon the example we're going to discuss about distance and displacement a person is moving in this path start from point a b c d e and f say from a to b it is 7 km kilometers b to c it is 6 km c to d it is 3 km d to e it is 5 km e to f it is 4 km but from a to f directly if the person goes from a to f directly the distance is 8 km okay now if i ask the person that what is the distance he traveled according to physics distance is total path traveled so in this example total path traveled means you have to take ab distance plus bc plus cd plus de plus ef and then it is 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 so 7 plus 6 13 16 21 4 25 so the total distance traveled by him is 25 kilometers because total path you have to take into consideration 